All right. All right. The January Omnibus Hall has arrived. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now, if you're interested in comic book content, unboxings, reviews, and everything in that wheelhouse, you should definitely hit the subscribe button. Then hit that bell icon so that you're notified when I post videos it's pretty much every day these days. Um, so I want to go ahead before I get started. Let me shout out to the premiere squad. Um, so whoever is in the chat right now, I appreciate you being here. What's up? Um, give me a fist emoji in the chat right now. If you're watching this live, all of my premieres, I, I all, all of my videos, I do a live chat premiere. So come hang out with us. Hang out with us in the Premiere Squad. I love talking to you guys while we watch the video together. So just wanted to shout out the Premiere Squad. Uh, shout out to Sleepy, and Goldie, Zach, uh, Larry. Uh, there's a lot of people. SCG, shout out to you guys for showing up in the chat pretty regularly. Regularly enough that I remember your names. So super dope. Now, as you can see beside me, I've got quite the January Omnibus Hall, and we're going to get to it in just a second. Um, I have to say, though, shout out to every place that I got these books from. I'll start shouting them out later. But the reason my January Omnibus Hall is so massive is because this is honestly a November, December and January Omnibus Hall. The issue is that so many of my orders got canceled that I wasn't able to pick these books up until now. I was just able to secure a lot of these books this month. So here's the January Omnibus Hall and um, shout out to the one book that didn't make it in the mail on time to be included. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I got Marvel books and I got DC books. I'm pretty sure they're sorted by publisher. So I'll just go grab the book off the top. All right. So first book here is X-Men. The X-Men uh, by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee Omnibus. Volume one. Um, this book I got from my OCS. So shout out to Ultimate Comics Raleigh. Um, and this was honestly, um, I'm so glad I got this. So I guess I'll go ahead and get into the story. I think I've told this in a couple other videos, but uh, back in October, I placed an order for like a bunch of Omnis that were coming out uh, soon. And they were pretty much all the Uncanny X Men. So it's Uncanny X Men Volume three. Uncanny okay, X-Men Volume 2, um, and a bunch of other stuff. And some of them got fulfilled, and some of them didn't. Ultimate Comics Raleigh has a deal where you buy three trades, graphic novels, omnibus, and you get the fourth one free. So I placed this huge pre-order, like, all right, cool, I'm going to buy eight books. Two of them will be free. Uh, the other six I'll pay full price for, because they were selling out on in-stock trades and everywhere else, and I didn't want to miss out. So because I didn't pre-order somewhere else online. I was like, I'll just go buy, I'll buy them from my LCS. If I'm going to pay a bunch of money, I'd rather pay you guys. Uh, so anyway, all that was working well until Diamond, Lunar, UCS decided not to deliver my books anyway. So then I had to scramble, do a mad dash on the internet. So this is the result of all that hard work. But shout out to Ultimate Comics Raleigh for getting this uh, X-Men by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee Omnibus in um, so that I could buy it. I'm super glad to have this. And I did an overview of this book already, so I'll leave it in the YouTube card up above. Uh, now, next book. All right, so the next book is The Uncanny X-Men, Volume 3. Um, I love this cover. This is the DM variant. I actually got this one from In Stock Trades because Diamond never actually um, published published diamond never delivered my book to my lcs so i actually got this one from in stock trades i had to be one of those tuesday at three o'clock warriors and oh man there was such anxiety i did an overview about this uh omnibus as well so check that out in the youtube card all right and here's the one that started all the panic so this is the uncanny x-men volume two Omnibus uh, by Chris Claremont, Dave Cockrum. Nope, yeah, to Chris Claremont, Dave Cockrum, and John Byrne. This one's got the Dark Phoenix saga in it. Um, it's got Days of Future Past in there as well. Yep, Days of Future Past is in this Omnibus too. Um, 
This was the first book that I ordered that didn't show up at my LCS. And I had a fit when it didn't arrive. I was very upset. Um, and, you know, thanks to the magic of the Internet, I was able to find out that Ultimate Comics Durham actually got in a copy of this, even though Ultimate Comics Raleigh, for whatever reason, my order didn't go, didn't come from Diamond. Um, but they transferred it over between stores and I was able to pick this one up in the shop. So thanks to Dan for handling that for me. Thanks to the staff at Ultimate Comics Durham and Ultimate Comics Raleigh. Shout out to you guys. And I'm glad to own this book. And this is the uh, this is the DM variant. I actually ordered the standard cover, um, but the DM variant matches up well with all the other books that I have. So I'm glad to have this. Uh, the next one. This is Wolverine. Whew. Wolverine Goes to Hell, the Omnibus. Uh, this is by Jason Aaron. It's got art by Adam Kubert um, and a bunch of others. Um, I did an overview of this one also. Uh, that's a recurring theme. By the way, I recorded an overview for um, Uncanny Volume 2, but it was so late after the Omnibus had already come out, I figured you guys had already seen someone else's video. If you still want that, let me know. I can edit it. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. Um, but yeah, Wolverine Goes to Hell by Jason Aaron. Um, I actually got this from Amazon because my job gave me a gift card. So I was happy to spend it. Um, but yeah, there's a there's an overview of this one on the channel if you haven't seen it already. So, all right, the stat got so low that you would have been spoiled if by them just sitting over my shoulder. So I decided to move them a little bit. Um, so now that we got all the Marvel books out of the way, Let's take a look at the DC books. Now, there's one thing that you're going to notice. Let's just, I'll do it in a second. But these DC books are massive. Like the DC books, they're, they're four books each. And the DC books stack up one book height taller than the Marvel do. That's just, uh, it's a complaint for another day. But anyway, let's start it off with one you've already seen before. This is Batman. Whoops. Batman, The Road to No Man's Land Omnibus. Um, this is by a bunch of people. It's a huge crossover event. So there's work by Chuck Dixon, um, Norm Brayfogel, uh, Alan Grant. Um, there's a bunch of people. I don't know why I even tried to start naming names if I was going to remember them all. Uh, but I got this also from the gift card for the Omnibus Hall, uh, Omnibus, from the Amazon Omnibus Hall, um, from my job. So shout out to them for giving me that gift card. Shout out to Amazon for delivering this. Even though it's dinged up, I need to go ahead and go through the process of reaching out to customer service. Y'all need to give me a gift card or something because this book is damaged. But um, yeah, so that's that. Put it down right behind me. Um, the next book is also one you guys have seen before because I did an overview. It is Superman Batman, The Omnibus by Jeff Loeb, Ed McGinnis, Mark Verheiden, Ethan Van Skyver. Um, very cool. I did an overview of this book and I really, really like the artwork. Um, I'm very excited to get into this book. Um, the description, the description really got me and the artwork is really good. Thumbing through this, it just looks like a very fun book. So I'm excited to, to read it. Um, now while I'm here, while I, let's look at just about every Marvel omnibus that I picked up this week is like this. This is how thick it is. Now, look at the DC in comparison. Like, the DC books are just huge. Why are they so big? But, whatever. I'll put that down over here. This little TV tray is going to tip over if I keep trying to put all these heavy books on them. Um, all right, so the next book is Super Sons. The Super Sons Omnibus Expanded Edition. I am so happy to have this book. I'm looking all at the screen and not at you. So happy to have this book. Um, now, Super Sons. Super Sons I actually owned a couple of ways. First, I had the out-of-print omnibus, um, the regular edition with the white cover, and I paid like $100 for that on eBay, which was a good deal at the time because it was out of print. And then the next month, literally the next month, they solicited this, which is an expanded edition um, so that not only collects the super, the original Super Sun series by Pat Gleason and Jorge Jimenez. Um, yeah, Peter Tomasi, Pat Gleason, Jorge Jimenez, uh, and Carlo Barberi are who are in this. But anyway, 
Let me move this over here. There we go. No more ring light glare. That's what was bothering me. Um, but yeah, so the original Super Sun series uh, was like 12 or I think it was like 20 issues. But anyway, it got canceled when Bendis aged up John Kent, and then they did the Adventures of the Super Sun series shortly after. Um, but the Adventures of the Super Sun series is not in the original Omnibus. But anyway, they solicited this a month after I paid out of print prices. So then I went ahead, sold my original printing on eBay for like 60 bucks, which I took, a, I took an L. I lost 40 bucks on this. But because I got this from Ultimate Comics Raleigh, this was technically free. Because the other three books that I bought were more expensive than this one. So it kind of worked out. But I'm glad to have all of the Super Sons Adventures. I actually have all the Super Sons Adventures in single issues also. Um, but this is going to be much easier than trying to dig them out of a short box. So there we go. And we finally reached the last book of the haul. So the last book of the haul. Man, this book is massive. But this is the JLA by Grant Morrison Omnibus. Um, I was going to say volume one, but it's the only volume. And this book is huge. Like, let's look at this versus this. All right, so the thinnest Marvel Omnibus we've got is the X-Men, the Chris Claremont, Jim Lee X-Men volume one. Now let's look at that next to this JLA. Like, it's double the size. This is insane. This thing is heavy. I don't even like holding it. Like, I want all the Grant Morrison JLA run, but I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to, like, get, like, a table or something to read this on. I think I've seen, like, these, these lap stands. But just trying to hold this in one hand for the video is rough. Like, I need to do some wrist work, bruh. Like, it's crazy. I don't know how people read these without getting carpal tunnel or something. But anyway, uh, this collects... What does it collect? It doesn't even say... Just says it collects Grant Morrison's prolific JLA run. Thanks, guys. This one had a cover price of one fifty, and um, shout out to Ultimate Comics Raleigh for giving it to me. I kind of wish I had bought this online because I thought this was going to go out of print or go out of stock super quick. It did not. I could have paid half for this, but it's in my collection, and I'm glad to have it. So, and if I didn't buy this for full price, and I wouldn't have got other stuff for free that. I absolutely needed and did sell out other places. So, yeah, man. All right, guys. Uh, surprise. <laughs> There's a book I forgot. There's one book that I forgot to include in the haul. So, forget that whole sign off. Forget all of it. Here we go. Batman, The Rise and Fall of the Batman, Omnibus by James Tynan IV. This collects uh, James Tynan's entire Detective Comics run. It is another wrist-breaking omnibus. Um, but yeah, I mean, James Tynan is... <clears throat> excuse me. James Tynan is killing it on Batman right now. Like, I'm loving his Batman run. So much so that I was like, oh, I gotta go... I gotta pick up his Detective Comics run. And I was plotting on the hardcovers, the deluxe hardcovers, and then they solicited this omnibus. And I was like, all right, I gotta do it. I gotta get it. Uh, and so I did. This collects Detective Comics 934 to 981, Detective Comics Annual 1, Batman 7 and 8, Nightwing 7 and 8, and stories from the Robin 80th Anniversary 100 page Super Spectacular number 1, and Detective Comics 1000. So, uh, I mean, there's like 50 issues in this book. There's more than 50 issues in this book. This thing is massive. Look. This thing is the size of my head. It's crazy. This thing is ridiculously huge. There's no reason for this. Um. Anyway. So there. That's the DC Hall uh, minus one. Yeah, that's the DC Hall minus one book. Uh, the Marvel Hall, I already put back on the shelves. Dude, so many books. I'm thankful to God, my wife, my job. And uh, everyone who made this haul possible, I guarantee you, though, this is the biggest haul you're going to see on this channel this year. Uh, I know because I'm actually going through pre-orders right now and none of them. There is no month in 2021 that has nine Omnibus in it. So stay tuned, though, because I do have one of these videos coming every month of the year. 
<laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, I got a, I got an omnibus haul coming every month. So if you want to see what I get next month, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to leave a comment letting me know which stories in this haul that you've read, which ones you haven't, which ones you're still on the fence on, and which ones I should read first, because there's no way I read all these this year. That's the haul. So all in all, eight books, uh, four Marvel, four DC. Um, I forgot. I got this Superman Batman from somebody in the Geminites Facebook group. So shout out to you. Um, I forgot your name for selling it to me. Shout out to Jim Mint for having the Facebook group. God, this one's heavy too. Let's talk about this, DC. We got to have a talk. I need to know why. Let me try to bring these back. Yeah, there's no way to get all this in the frame. That's crazy. But anyway, DC, let's talk about how your omnibus are way too freaking big. Like, there's no reason. There's no reason. Ugh. There's no reason that these books should be as big as they are. Like, just do a volume one and volume two, bruh. Like, you could have split this up. Road to No Man's Land one. Road to No Man's Land two. Or, I don't know. You guys don't want to like, you don't like calling them volume one and volume two. Just do like the road to no man's land and like the bridge to no man's land. I don't know. Trick people. Hire a marketing guy. I'm a marketing guy. That's how I afford to buy your freaking bricks of a book. Uh, but anyway, that's enough of my rant. <laughs> I hope you saw something you liked in this video. Uh, please, please buy your books responsibly. Uh, there is so much that contributed to me being able to purchase these books. Not the least of which is the fact that Christmas was in December and my birthday was in January. So there were a lot of extra funds that contributed to being able to purchase all this. So don't feel that internet pressure. Like you have to buy everything. You don't. I don't buy everything. I don't at all. Like you guys saw the Superman Batman video. I wasn't going to get this omnibus and I got some extra funds and then I got it. But anyway. Not to lecture you guys on how to spend your money or not spend it. I just feel like I have to put that responsibility disclaimer there because this just looks frivolous. It really does. But um, anyway, hope you saw something that you liked. If not, that's cool. You can buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.